the open closed principle states that a class should be open for extension but closed for modification in other words you should be able to add new functionality without changing the existing code once you have written your class it should not be modified in the future except for the bug fixes however this doesn't mean you cannot modify your class during early development stages it means that once your application or software is in the production and you want to introduce the new functionality you should extend that class rather than modifying it because you do not want to mess with code that is tested and working 100% fine now a question comes in your mind how do i add new functionality if i cannot modify the class the answer is create a new class by inheriting the existing class and introduce the new functionality there it is called extending the functionality one can also achieve it with composition and delegation it is not necessary to use inheritance for that the main thing is you do not have to modify the existing functionality let's take a look at this example we have three classes here circle rectangle and square we have an enum shape type containing the entries for each classes we have class shape which have a draw method draw method draw the circle based on the shape type now let's draw a shape for that we need to create the instance of shape class call the draw method and pass the shape type circle to it in the same way we can draw other shapes we just need to call a draw method and pass the shape type we want to draw you might be thinking ah oh, that's okay but what do you want to prove here let's say we want to introduce a new shape called triangle for that you need to create a class triangle create an entry in the shape type enum and you have to add one more switch case which draws the triangle that seems totally fine but what if in the future you need to draw more shapes for that you always have to modify the draw method the shape class is always being modified and that totally violates the open closed principle our class should be closed for modification but our class is open for modification let's redesign our application let's create the i shape interface with draw method create the classes circle rectangle squares which implements the i shape interface each classes have its own draw method create a new class shape test which have draw shape method it takes i shape as an argument which means we can pass any instance which implement the i shape interface to it call this method and pass the instance of circle to draw a circle for drawing a shape we just need to call draw shape method and pass the instance which implements the i shape interface to introduce a new shape in our system we just need to create a new class and implement the i shape interface for example we want to introduce triangle shape in our system for that we just need to create a new class triangle and implement i shape interface there now in the main method we need to call draw shape method and pass the triangles instance as an argument we can add any number of shapes in our system without modifying any existing class we have many solutions to achieve the open close principle but we are not going for that in my opinion this principle does not imply that we should never modify the existing code that is totally impossible but we should try to design our classes in such a way that it can be extended in a easy manner i will put down the link of my blog post where you can find all the code used in this video that's it for now see you in the next principle the liskov substitution principle